Five men are on the run after robbing a Geelong service station and threatening an attendant. Management is now considering a bounty for any information that leads to an arrest. The stolen Mercedes had barely stopped by the time the gang smashed their way into the service station. Just after 1.30 this morning, five armed males swarmed the lone attendant. Despite offering no resistance, at one stage he was grabbed by the back of the neck and forced to the ground. The smash and grab was all about cigarettes and cash. The gang emptied shelves and containers as quickly as they could. Despite facing further threats, the attendant managed to keep a cool head as he was forced to comply. In their rush, the crooks gave away clues to their identities. Two were suspected of being of African background and one of European background. These sort of things scar people for life. With a bootload of cigarettes bound for the black market, the gang almost left behind one of their own as they made their getaway. They need to be caught. They need to be caught so that we know that they're not coming back. Cameron Bow, 7 News. A 38-year-old father has been terrorised during an early morning robbery in Lara. As Neary Tai reports, the masked and armed thieves stormed the APGO service station, stealing tens of thousands of dollars worth of cash and cigarettes. Armed and dangerous, a gang of thieves burst into the APCO service station in Lara. <laughs> Wielding hammers, the masked defenders stormed the counter. <laughs> Terrorising the worker, pinning him to the ground. <laughs> The 38-year-old father doesn't resist. I was pretty upset. Five people standing over the top of somebody with hammers and screaming things at them is probably most people's nightmare. Raiding the shelves, the thieves steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of cigarettes and cash. Filling a stolen Mercedes with the loot, the getaway driver almost leaves one of the intruders behind. They knew what they were doing, they knew where they were going and they knew how to do it and they come, you know, they even brought their own bags. All up, the offenders spent around four minutes inside the store and the owners say this is the first time they've ever been targeted. They'll now look at upgrading security. Four of the offenders have been described as African in appearance, while one was Caucasian. It's not very nice at all, so like I said, it's, yeah, not something I ever want to happen to basically anyone. Neary Tai, Nine News.